Station YouTube, I hope everybody is doing well, both physically as well as mentally. Wasn't planning on doing another VV video this soon, but August of 2022 was just such a big month, not only for VV, but for me personally within the VV app. Here, I'm gonna let the intro play and then we're gonna get into it. Taki's Tales. I really appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode here of uh, August 2022 VV Recap. Now, make sure you check out my last video on VV just because there might be some areas I don't cover here. Um, that's Taki's Tales Season 2, Episode 6, How I Got My ASM 1. So, today I'm going to talk about how I got an ASM 300 as well as an AF-15, Spider-Man 300 and Amazing Fantasy 15 get into first of all the drops for august so first off we had this beautiful incredible hulk number 377 negative space cover just completely love it i got not only uh the regular common but i also got the uncommon so i got the set here probably two of the best covers of the month then they have unbeatable squirrel girl number one this one um it's still not sold out and that's that's not good because it's been like maybe a month and it still hasn't sold out then we have amazing fantasy 15 we'll talk more about this one later tales to astonish 13 i did not get in on the drop for this one it backfired um it actually ended up being worth more than 6.99 after the drop and then i've kind of lost track of it afterwards i'm not sure if i'm gonna go back and pick that one up Marvel Legacy number one, not interested at all in that. Savage She-Hulk number one, I have this book in real life. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up or not. I really was interested in the variant covers that they had. So the Uncommon is not great. The Rare and Secret Rare are just not doing it for me. And the Ultra Rare, all three of those are, aren't just, they're just not doing it for me. And we have Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number three. Um, I did not participate in the drop on this one, and I was able to pick it up for around two to two dollars and fifty cents after the fact. Tales to Astonish number ninety um, did not participate on the drop on this one, and then came back and picked it up later on for about two dollars or two dollars and fifty cents. And then we have Amazing uh, Spider-Man number 300, and we'll talk about that one in just a moment. But first, let's talk about Amazing Fantasy 15. So Amazing Fantasy 15 was a drop limited to 10,000, and it, they, it was a $20 drop, meaning that you needed to get there at 10 a.m., hit the Buy Now button, be one of the first 10,000, and spend $20. So I did that, and I did get a copy of it, as you can see. Um, it skyrocketed to $1,000 in worth by the end of the day. So if you, didn't, if you weren't able to get the drop, you ended up having to pay $1,000 if you wanted it that day. Which is just crazy. It's insane. Um, I received a common cover for Amazing Fantasy 15. It's a three-digit mint, so it's worth more than you, what the normal common covers are going for. At the time of, on the first day, I thought it was worth about 2,700 gems, and I put it up for sale because I, I it was just too much. I had to do it. Unfortunately, nobody bought it at 2,700 gems. I should have probably put it up for 2,000. I think I could have sold it at 2,000. I have it at, I think it's worth 1,400 gems. It's going to be really hard for me to sell just because I know I'll never get another copy or it's going to be very unlikely for me to get another uh, three-digit mint on a common cover for Amazing Fantasy 15. So that's where we're standing on Amazing Fantasy 15. I'm holding on to it for right now. As far as Amazing Spider-Man 300, again, this was limited to 10,000 editions. I was going for the common cover. I did not like the other covers that were available. I did get in 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., hit the buy now button. It was a $20 drop again, and I got an edition, but it turned out to be 
the rare edition and I was not too happy about that so I put it up for sale immediately it was and usually the rares are going for a little bit more than the commons so I got 135 gems for the rare copy and after I was able to sell that copy not only was I able to go back and get a common copy of Amazing Spider-Man 300 but I was also able to get this I was able to get a copy of Marvel Comics number one and this has been one of my VV grails and I'm so excited to finally have a copy of this in my collection it was one of the first I think it was the first book that VV dropped and it's been something that I really wanted it's something that I've had my eye on and just the luck of the drop I was able to not only get back in and get another copy or get the copy I really wanted of Amazing Spider-Man 300 but I also got Marvel Comics number one so that's the month of August for me in Vivi Marvel Comics number one Amazing Fantasy number 15 and Amazing Spider-Man 300 what a haul wow so let me know what you guys think in the comments the music for this video, as always, is done by LS Beats. The intro that you saw at the beginning is done by Moan Media. I roll with the PCP Army Bad Batch. Hit the show notes. Check, click those links. Check out those amazing channels. You will love the comic book content that you find when you click on those links. Until next time, take it easy. Peace.